playing for our national team, so I played volleyball for the Vegas national team, Youth and Young and Shield. So, and we want to succeed like you, uh, so uh, can you please uh, just help us or give us an advice how to be successful? Uh, well, to, to be successful, to be successful, you have to do a lot of different things. You gotta learn, you gotta be able to watch your game, watch your practices, you gotta work on your technique, you gotta work on your physicality, you have to work on every little part of your body, game. To be successful, it takes a lot of different things. And you can start doing all that if you just got a lot of heart. Everything starts from your heart. If you're going to practice because you want to go, that's number one. If you're going to practice because somebody told you to go, that's bad. So, everything has to start from here, from your heart. If you feel it, if you feel that, that's, you're going to be successful. You just got to keep working. If you think you did a lot, do even more. If, you, if you're not tired, stay at the gym and work even harder. This is what you gotta do. That's how, I, that's how I've been playing seven years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just crank that. You can't just crank that. It's, you have to perform every day. You have to bring it every day. If you ain't gonna bring it, there's another thousand guys right behind your back waiting for you to trip. And Sometimes when I'm going to the gym in the off season and I got and I have you know five, six young talented players who are telling me, oh I'm gonna be an NBA, I'm gonna be an NBA. I'm thinking, alright, let's go, let's go and let's see what you got. You know what I'm saying? And it's not easy, but you have to do this every day. You have to prove yourself every day, otherwise you otherwise you are. Otherwise, yeah, this, that's why this is the best league in, in the world. We got 450 players, and I'm glad I won that. That's it. I'm glad. Appreciate that's a great question. Good look. Uh, he's, uh, he's obviously fashion savvy. Asking that question. Can I say, oh, you want me to respond in English? Huh? I know English. <laughs> now what? Uh, I bought it custom made. Unfortunately, I can't I can't find one in the store for me. But uh, listen, you gotta you gotta the way you carry yourself off the court. This is how you play on the court. I learned that. I've seen ten. I've seen I've seen veterans that are ten years old, ten years that have ten years in the league, and they come into the game in sweats. They come to the game in shorts and t-shirt. And this is how you represent your name, your family, your team, the best league. Come on. You get paid millions for that. You better dress yourself. You better be able to dress yourself. You represent a lot of people. And I hope I'm good. I know. I feel comfortable. To the budget money, share your hands. So we will be the most we I know we've got Americans in the audience and we've got Poles in the audience. One last big round of applause for Bachi. For all of the cheerleaders who are marching over here. For the Polish soldiers who came a long way to visit us. For the Washington Wizards staff who make this evening possible without whom. The lights will be off right now. And we want to thank everyone on behalf of the American Polish Forum, on behalf of the NG13 Foundation. Thank you to the Polish Ambassador for his patronage. Please get home safely tonight. And last two words from Machi. Microphone is yours. I want to thank you very much for all the thanks 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 for all the th